Hi everyone, and thank you for choosing SignalWire, the advanced cloud communications platform built on the most powerful, proven, and trusted technology. Today I'm going to be showing you how to send an SMS using SignalWire. The first thing we want to do is start a new project. And enter a name for that project. Next, we want to purchase a new phone number. You can have as many phone numbers as you need on a project and in your account. This drop-down menu lets you choose what your number either starts with, ends with, or contains. Then you just search for that pattern of numbers in SignalWire's database of available phone numbers. I'm typing in 650 because that's the area code I want. These numbers are all enabled with voice, SMS, MMS, and fax. These numbers are only $0.08 cents a month, which enables rapid development at a disruptive price point. As you can see, SignalWire is really disrupting the other price gouging options out there. So we're going to want to give this number a catchy name. And now we can start our project. LAML is SignalWire's XML. It stands for Legacy Antiquated Markup Language. We deliberately designed LAML and our LAML REST API to look similar to other platforms to make migrating your existing phone or messaging application quick and easy while giving you access to our next generation APIs and endpoints. We will demonstrate how to move your existing application to SignalWire in a future video. My favorite way to send SMS is using SignalWire's bins. LAML bins allow you to store LAML documents in a serverless way. Instead of hosting LAML on your own servers or on other hosting companies, SignalWire can host it for you. Our new number is already selected, so we're going to click on the LAML tab on the left-hand side and then go to the bins page. We're going to hit the Create a LAML Bin button and give it a catchy name. Now all we have to do is create our document. We have documentation pages to help you with the syntax of LAML, which is made up of response, verb, and noun elements. So in between our response elements, we're going to put our message verbs, which send messages to another phone number. And we're going to type in, hello from SignalWire. Then we save our bin and press this icon to copy it. Then we go back to our phone numbers page, click on our new number, and scroll down to the message settings. We're going to paste our bin below this spot where it says when a message comes in. LAML makes requests over HTTP, so we have to choose Get or Post, just like when requesting any other web page. Post requests can't be cached, but can pass more information through the server, so choose whichever is right for your project. And right here is where you can put your backup document in case your primary webhook fails. And then we just press Save. So now we can give our new number a text and we get our automated response. Once again, thank you for choosing SignalWire. Our next video will demonstrate making calls to your SignalWire number. 